This video is on the topic of resistance. Resistance occurs when flowing electrons collide with the ionic structure of the metal. Each collision transfers energy from the kinetic store of the electron to the kinetic store of the metal ions. This results in heating in the wire, which is an unuseful energy transfer. As the temperature in the wire increases, the metal ions vibrate faster, resulting in more and more collisions, which further increases resistance, which further increases temperature, and so on. The greater the resistance, the harder it is for charge to flow, so the current decreases as resistance increases. So we've seen how temperature affects resistance, but there are other factors that affect resistance too. Take this wire with a cross-sectional area of A and another identical wire, but with a cross-sectional area of 2A. The thinner wire will have twice the resistance of the thicker wire. And that makes sense because the thinner the wire, the harder it is for charge to flow without colliding into those metal ions. Now take that same thin wire of length L and an identical wire that is double its length. The longer wire will have double the resistance of the shorter wire. And again, that makes sense because the further the charge flows in the wire, the more likely they are to have a collision with a metal ion. So we have three factors affecting resistance, temperature, cross-sectional area, and length. Resistance, current, and potential difference are all related. If you change just one of those variables in a circuit, they all change. This equation is called Ohm's law, or the resistance equation. It states that resistance is directly proportional to potential difference and indirectly proportional to current. Therefore, resistors can be used in a circuit to control the current in a given branch. A higher resistance will give a lower current and a lower resistance will give a higher current. Let's take a look at an example exam question. A student builds a series circuit with a five kilo ohm resistor. The current in the circuit is 0.9 milliamps. Calculate the potential difference across the resistor for two marks. So first we always write out the equation. We need to rearrange here to make potential difference or V the subject. Then we substitute in the known values we have 0.9 milliamps of current, which is 0.9 times 10 to the minus 3 amps times 5 kilo ohms of resistance, which is 5 times 10 to the 3. And that correct substitution gets you the first mark. This gives us a potential difference of 4.5 volts for the final mark. In summary, resistance is the opposition to the flow of current which occurs because those delocalized electrons collide with the metal ions. Factors affecting resistance are as follows. Temperature, the greater the temperature, the greater the resistance. Cross-sectional area, the smaller the cross-sectional area of the wire, the greater the resistance. And length, the greater the length of the wire, the greater the resistance. And finally, the relationship between resistance, current, and potential difference is described by and can be calculated using Ohm's law. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources here at Save My Exams.